Hi there guys, it's Robin Ambassador for Christ, and as you know where I go to Kingdom goes, listen, join the Bible studies, information in the description down below, listen, demonic attack, demonic oppression, deliverance, we're going to be speaking about that today, listen to me okay, in this day we're living in right now, there's, the wicked, the more wicked that the earth becomes, the more evil that the, that the world becomes, the more demons are invading the earth. Because when people do wickedness, they're opening up a portal for evil spirits to attack their lives or come into their lives, okay? So what we're seeing today is the increase of evil. Evil and wickedness is going unchecked. And because evil and wickedness is growing, the demonic is also growing and we're seeing the manifestations of the growth of this demonicness in the world today how we are seeing this manifest is how or how it manifests in the physical is through people being afflicted people being afflicted with depression anxiety it's all on the rise it's going out of the roof and um, people are on anti antidepressant drugs people have suicidal thoughts these thoughts are on the increase and on the rise the reason why people are feeling this way is because it's called it's an onslaught of the demonic and of evil spirits. So when even for you who's watching me right now in your life, you may be going through you're being afflicted by spirits, you're being afflicted by you're fearful, very fearful, anxious, worried, um, agitated, shouting, arguing, strife, division in your life things not going right, you know, you, you, your, your finances are under attack, you know, you're, you're, you, you can't hold down a job, you can't hold down a job at all, this is your 10th job in the last two years, what's happening, it's an attack from the enemy, it's an attack from the demonic, alright, so we need to understand this, see, there's two types of demonic attack, alright, one is an external and one is an internal, all right. So an ex an external demonic attack was when evil evil spirits will attack you with strife. They'll start to mess your life up. They'll start to go out there and destroy your relationship with your family, destroy your relationship with your children, destroy your relationships with with finance. They'll block up your money. They'll go out there and stir people up and adversaries and stir up people against you. This is what's happening out there. It's a demonic attack. And there's an internal attack that we have also. This is when you get stress, strife, your brain's always cloudy and clogged. Nighttime, you're getting attacked by evil spirits. Your mind is about to explode. You have demonic thoughts all the time. Your thoughts are all over the place. You have wicked and evil thoughts. Wickedness is coming out of your mouth. And you're thinking to yourself, what on earth is going on? Suicidal thoughts when you never had them before. You're, you're so, uh, just under so much pressure and under so much stress that you now are drinking excessive amounts of alcohol. You are now taking excessive amounts of drugs. And it's just going wild. Now, this is what's quite crazy is because this is happening to humans whether you're saved or unsaved. If you're unsaved, they call it a mental illness. If you're saved, it's demonic. But you need to realize this. You need to realize this. So when it comes to the external attacks, the demons are messing your life up. They're out there destroying your relationships, destroying things, your prosperity. See, those evil spirits need to be bound and cast out. I've come against those evil spirits that's coming against me, that's binding and, and taking my money from me. And I come against those evil spirits of strife that's trying to break me and my wife up, that's trying to destroy the relationship between me and my family. I come against those evil spirits. I rebuke you and I cast you out right now in the name of Jesus. That's to deal with those external spirits, all right? But the internal ones, the Bible speaks about the battlefields in the mind. If you read the book of 2 Corinthians chapter uh, 10, verse 4, it speaks about, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, okay? And we've got to cast down every imagination, high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. We've got to bring those thoughts into captivity, all right? So the battlefield's in the mind. So evil spirits will put strongholds in your mind and they'll start to afflict your mind with depression, afflict your mind. The stronghold is in the mind. Remember, the strongholds are in your mind. The demonic attack internally is in the mind because demons, they have not got bodies. They haven't got bodies. So what they try to do, they try to hijack your body and use your body to fulfill their evil intentions. So if they end up getting strongholds in your mind, 
the next thing you know, you're doing all forms of wickedness that you would never ever do before. It's just a manifestation of, of an evil spirit that's taken hold of your mind in a form of a stronghold. See, what happens is that those evil spirits that are in your mind, they need to be cast out as well in the name of Jesus. But this is what this is the thing. <coughs> Sorry. This is the thing. When an evil spirit is cast out of a man, they, it goes into a dry place. This is what Jesus Christ said in the book of Matthew. It says, when an evil spirit is cast out, it goes into a dry place. Demons hate the dry place, but it goes out. And then it says, when that demon can't find any rest, it, it will come back to the place where, where it was cast out and it will bring with itself seven more evil spirits, more wicked than itself. And the last state is worse than the first state of that man. That's what Jesus Christ said. So what happens is that we have a stronghold in our mind a stronghold is like a castle, a fortification that, that an evil spirit has put in, its, in our mind and it's been living there for years. So when we identify this evil spirit and we cast it out in the name of Jesus, we break, we break its hold and we cast it out of our mind in Jesus' name. That, evil, that, that stronghold still remains. The evil spirit has left, but the stronghold still remains. And what happens is, for most people, you may have had this in your own life. You may have witnessed, you probably may be able to witness this yourself, when you've been delivered from an evil spirit, but yet you always seem to fall back into old habits and you always seem to fall back into the thing you was delivered from. And it's been going on for years, cycles and cycles. You've been addicted to lust and all these sorts of pornography and all sorts of craziness online and all this stuff. And you get that evil spirit gets cast out or you cast it out in Jesus name. But the thing is, two weeks later, you're back in that same position again. And it's like a continuous cycle. See, what it is, is that in your mind, the stronghold remains. The demon that had a stronghold in your mind, the demon's been cast out, but the stronghold is still there. So what happens is, is that this evil spirit, when it can't find no rest, it will come back to your mind, back to that stronghold and go back into its house again and take up residence back in that stronghold where it built it from before. So what we need to do, okay, the Bible tells us what to do in the book of Romans chapter 12, verse two, I think it is. It says, be ye not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. The word conform there in the, in the book of Romans, it, makes, it speaks about don't be molded. That word conform means molded. So don't be molded after this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. See, when you begin to renew your mind with scriptures and you start to renew your mind with the spiritual goodness that comes from God, you start to renew yourself in the Holy Ghost. That stronghold that that demon occupied, that stronghold starts to crumble and starts to break down and it starts to be destroyed because of the word of God that is now taking up residence in your heart and manifested in your mind it starts to clean your mind the bible says for the we are washed by the spirit of god we're washed by the word of god so what happens now is that when we cast that evil spirit of lust um anxiety stress um and all the uh, depression uh, suicidal thoughts when we cast that evil spirit out and then we start to renew our mind in the word of God, that stronghold then gets destroyed. And when that evil spirit tries to come back to take up residency back in our mind or back in the stronghold where it was cast out from, the demon comes back and finds that there is no stronghold there anymore. It is now gone. That's how you get um, deliverance. That's how you have long-term deliverance and continuous deliverance. The demon gets cast out external and the mind has to get renewed internal has to be renewed see a lot of us we cast demons out without renewing the mind the mind has to be renewed now in the world now they haven't got that luxury this is the reason why they go to shrinks they go to counseling and they get they go to doctors and they get drugs to suppress the mind to put them in some sort of um psychosis or some sort of you know some comatose state or they, they, their senses are dulled in, in, in their mind gets dulled by these by these drugs that they've been given and they get they say that you have a mental illness now in the bible the bible doesn't call it mental illness it calls it demonic possession for example the bible speaks about how there was a boy a father brought a boy to jesus christ's disciples to cast the evil spirit out and this demon that was that possessed this boy the son of this father he said that how the spirit would cast him, it would grab him and it would cast him into the fire or cast him into the water at different times. So that's called a spirit of bipolar. It's a switchy spirit. See, 
But in the world, they'll say that's a mental illness. But in the Bible, it says it's demonic. And when this, Jesus cast these evil spirits out of these people, they were back in their right mind and they were normal. You could even go to the madman at the gatherings. He had a spirit of suicide and he was cutting himself with stones, self-harming. Because it says that he cut himself with stones in the tombs. He cut himself with stones. That's self-harming. Um, and... He was crying all night. He had supernatural strength where he broke fetters and chains. A chain is on his wrist, fetters are on your feet. He destroyed them with his hands. He, was, he had supernatural strength. And the Bible says that when the demons were cast out of him, he was back in his right mind. So in the world now, they will say all those thoughts and actions is, is a mental illness. It's not. It's demonic. You'll even see in that story where God um, cast the, or Jesus cast the evil spirits into the pigs. And the pigs, the Bible says that the pigs ran down a steep place violently and they fell into, they, they drowned in the water and they cho choked and drowned. That's a characteristic of a suicidal spirit. Do you, do you understand? So this demon that was cast out of this madman at the gatherings, it was a self-harming spirit. It was a mad spirit. It, it was, it was, it had, the spirit had supernatural, gave the, the person supernatural strength. And it had a suicidal spirit and it had a, a self-harming spirit altogether. And we see that these are the characteristics of certain people that have crazy mental issues. What the, what the world would call mental issues. But what we called from the Bible, we would call it mental illness. So we know how to deal with it. We do with it in the name of Jesus because the Bible speaks about unclean spirits and spirits of infirmity. This is the truth behind what's going on. So what we're seeing today is that as there's more wickedness going on and, and people are accepting wickedness in different different levels of society, demons are being, are being allowed into society. And the manifestation of these demons being manifest or allowed into society the manifestation is the height of mental illness, afflictions, um, craziness, uh, murders, wickedness, drugs, sorcery, witchcraft, evilness, wickedness is on the rise. It's because it's all demonic. So we need to be praying and casting these things out in Jesus name and taking authority over these evil spirits, especially in your life. It starts with you. If you can't take take dominion over these evil spirits that's attacking you how can you then take over or how can you have authority and belief and faith to deal with the evil spirits that's attacking society so if you're being afflicted now in the name of jesus you just need to not, obviously not going to be afflicted in the name of jesus obviously but if you are being afflicted by evil spirits we have to come against them in the name of jesus we have to bind them and cast them out and we have to be in the word see the more of the spirit of god you have in you there's no space for evil spirits see if your mind is full of the things of god the word of god and you're seeking after the face of god you're seeking the mind of god when you're doing these spiritual activities there's no space in your mind for evil spirits to take up residence there's no space nowhere do you understand how it works? So when we're not in the word, when we're not in prayer, when we're not in praise, when we're not doing the spiritual or the Christian basics, there's a lot of emptiness in our mind, a lot of emptiness in our life. And evil spirits will try to take up residence in those empty spaces. So this is the reason why the Bible says we must be filled with the Holy Spirit filled with it so there's no space for evil spirits to have any residence or have any um any any uh, bearing on our life or any influence on our life anywhere it's not going to be that we want to be influenced by god so like i said what we're seeing is that things are getting more and more crazy in these days we're living in and what we're beginning to what we're seeing we're going from the, the days of prosperity and god fearingness we're now moving to the place where we start seeing idol worship on the on the whole we start seeing wickedness being promoted it's, we can read about this in the book of judges and the book of kings how when they when the when the nation served god there was a lots of prosperity but then when they started to do wickedness the prosperity was gone and they started to lose and things started to be started to get destroyed the country is being destroyed the people are being destroyed they were being overtaken by um, uh, foreign forces they were being they were being taken to slavery they were losing their gold their silver their prosperity their lives their freedom because demonicness was being exalted but when god is exalted you will then receive freedom but when demons and demonic activity is being exalted then the country starts to go down and then the freedoms disappear and then things get more and more wicked more demons manifest and there's more uh, manifestations in the physical realm which like i said what we're seeing we go to certain countries abortions on the rise what is a what when is abortions on the rise what is that telling us it's showing us that's the manifestation of evil spirits in the physical realm that's what a manifestation of what evil spirit looks like 
Do you see that? It's because these wickedness are being promoted. Things are being winked at and left aside and going unchecked and unchallenged. So we need to be in the word. We need to be seeking the face of God. And we need to be going, taking our spiritual life to a new level. Because we can't be in a place where we're being afflicted. And we're always in the prayer line asking for prayer over and over and over again. That has to stop. We have to have dominion over these evil spirits and over demons and devils. We can't let them have dominion over us. We have to be moving in a place of power. You need to understand who you are. You are a son of the king or a daughter of the king, depending on who's watching. So anyway, back to what I'm saying, we need to start to take authority over these evil spirits, cast them out in Jesus' name, cast them out of our lives in the name of Jesus, and we need to start to renew our mind in the word. We need to start getting serious because the world is getting darker and darker and we the bible says that we are the light of the world so we need to be come alive we need to be filled with the holy spirit and with the power of the holy ghost and with authority and anointing and go out into the world and take dominion over these spirits and cast them out of our lives and out of our societies and communities in the name of jesus listen it's robert ambassador for christ join the bible studies information is in the description down below kingdom connections live stream on wednesday eight o'clock live stream also on saturday eight o'clock it's gonna be powerful it's gonna be deep i'll see you guys next video Woo!